What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. And you know I do this from a black male's point of view. Shout out to all the brothers out there that need news and entertainment and gossip from our perspective and not that watered down stuff out there on social media, right? And check me out today. I'm talking about my man, P. Diddy. Remember when he had the shiny suit on and he was just puffy? Yeah, he used to be puffy, but then he was like, make music. Yeah, man, I want to change my name to P. Diddy because, you know, I don't want to be calling myself puffy for the kids. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. My man, P. Diddy, right? And we all know P. Diddy is like an icon in our generation. He started off background dancing for Father MC. They came out to be one of the most dope executive producers of all time, right? And my man is still a mogul. And even in the corona season, my man is holding these Instagram like quarantine live parties, man. Everybody's been doing them. My man Boosie got it cracking over there. A whole bunch of other brothers. You know, you got brothers doing, you know, hip hop battles. You know what I'm saying? You got NBA superstars playing NBA 2K Live. It's just cracking right now, right? We having a good quarantine party. But on Easter Sunday, my man P. Diddy held an event on Instagram, right? And he was there with his two boys, and it was cracking in. You know, he, he brought in all the big wigs, man. LeBron came through there. Justin Bieber came through there. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez came through there. You know what I'm saying? Through there. You know, they used to be together, him and, uh, you know what I'm saying, J-Lo. Naomi Campbell, D-Nice, DJ Khaled, Snoop, Ben Rock, and others. It was it was cracking. But I'm going to talk about two people that got on there, man. And it, it, it's, 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 it's Lizzo and Drea, right? And, and I am hope I'm saying the name right. You guys know how I feel about Lizzo. Oh, my God. All right? And, and Lizzo, I mean, listen, l look at her. Okay, I don't know what's what's worse, her or the Marshmallow Man or the Michelin Tire Man, if we could put those two things. That's Lizzo, okay? That is what she is. Um, and she is always over-sexualizing herself all the time on her page. She's twerking it up. She is getting roasted, you know? Boyce Watkins roasted her up. I roasted her up. Everybody's roasting her up, talking about she's too fat. Well, my man P. Diddy let her come on and you know, they was dancing and everybody was having a good time. You know, P. Diddy is a dancer. And it came to a point where Lizzo started twerking, all right? Now, at, at some point it's debatable because everybody, you know, takes it a little bit different. He said, you know, listen, you know, this is, you know, a, a family thing, we wanna stop that. Or he basically came back and saw what she was doing and then he stopped it, he changed the song and all of that, right? And it's, it's debatable on how you see it. But she did apologize, right? She said, you know, whatever, because he didn't want her to get too loose and do too much, okay? But then when Drea came on, now Drea is fine, all right? Um, she's beautiful. And when she was twerking and, you know what I'm saying, he left and um, she was twerking and then when he came back, he did kind of look like, you know, you know, he needed to change it up also. But basically when Drea came on, he wasn't tripping as much, all right? And people are roasting P. Diddy because dating music or sad music. Oh my God, you know, when Lizzo was twerking, you didn't say nothing. You hate fat girls. You are a body shamer. <coughs> Corona. <coughs> Corona. But when Drea comes on there, you know, all of a sudden it's all good. You don't have no problem with it. You letting it go. You're a hater, P. Diddy. You're a hater. You're fat shaming. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to drop some game, man, that nobody's talking about. But we're going to be honest here. Give me some Jeopardy music. Now, as we have the Jeopardy music coming on, I want you niggas to like the video, okay? Subscribe to my channel while we're doing it. Just, the music is in the background, nigga. We don't have all day, okay? Go ahead and do that. We wanna play a little game 
You know what? I don't even like this music anymore. Let's go some like game show music. Give me some game show music. I want to look at some of the women that P. Diddy has dated before. Uh, let's show P. Diddy and Cassie. Okay. See Cassie? Uh, let's look at um Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. We gonna look at um we gonna look at Kim Porter. Rest in peace. Okay. Let's look at Yasmin Gari, Lori Harvey, Naomi Campbell, Keisha Cole. That's just a few of the chicks that P. Diddy has dated. Still keep the game show music on. Now, let's look at Drea right now, and let's look at Lizzo. Let's put them on the same damn screen. Who is more closer to what P. Diddy likes more? Or has dated more. Drum roll, please. It's Drea. And see, here's what we don't want to talk about. Although P Diddy is trying to hide it, you know, P Diddy's a liberal. You know, he's he's really a liberal. He's a you know he's a he's always talking about white supremacy. Uh, you know. Black this, black that, always begging, always, you know, he's one of those blackity, black fake, black first people. So that's P. Diddy, right? But we all know the truth. P. Diddy stopped Lizzo from twerking because he doesn't want to see it, okay? He doesn't need her views. He doesn't need her people. He doesn't want to look at that. He just doesn't. P. Diddy and guys like him don't want to see a Lizzo twerking. Guys with money don't date women like Lizzo. I mean, am I the only person that sees this here? I mean, every guy that's watching this video understands why he doesn't want to see her twerk and why when Drea starts twerking, he doesn't say anything or is not as mad or all of a sudden he leaves the room. He knows that she's twerking. Drea is beautiful. But when Lizzo is twerking, she is not beautiful. He's not attracted to her. And the reason why she says she's sorry because she knows that a guy like P. Diddy ain't checking for her. Nobody with money is checking for her. The only people that are that's mad about this are girls who look like her that want somebody to put them on a pedestal to say, oh my God, P. Diddy gave me the stamp of approval. No! Whoa, 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 Lizzo? No! Lizzo? No! That is an eyesore. And to be, and you know what? His sons don't want to see that either. They got to go to bed dreaming about that, having nightmares. It's not fair to the youth. That's the problem. And see, we need to come back to this situation. A lot of ladies are trying to change the sincerity of um, the narrative for successful black men like Puff Daddy. They don't want to see women that look like Lizzo twerk. They don't want to see them at for the most part, in any kind of intimate way. Now, some of you broke guys out there would want to see it because you thirsty and you would go to bed with a cardboard box. That's what y'all will do. But we all know that brothers like P. Diddy, who got it made, ain't checking for Lizzo. Even my brothers out there making $80,000 to $100,000. They ain't trying to see that. They not trying to see that. Somebody messed my voice up. Okay, hold on. Give me, give me, change my voice up real quick. They're not trying to see that. <laughs> it's just not. And we need to have a discussion. See, all these guys, all these ladies are are, 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 are crying. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me read some of these crybaby ass comments that these chicks are writing about. Oh my God, I can't believe he didn't let her twerk. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let, 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 let's go ahead, um, just before I, before we go ahead and, 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 and end it, I, I, I gotta talk about this. It was too much crying going wrong. Too much crying going on. Too much crying going on. You had this one right here. LMFAO, did he not letting Lizzo shake ass on the Easter, but letting Drea shake ass to back that ass up is sending me angry her real name is angry fat thought that's her name dating music let me make my voice deeper lol not shocking is because fat black bodies are considered inappropriate white lighter white skin and thin bodies are seen as appropriate diddy just didn't want to be tied to lizzo twerking applause 
No, I mean, what she's saying for the most part is wrong, but there are, there are parts of this which is right, applause. See, it's not about fat black, okay? Or white skin. It has everything to do with overweight and thin. Guys who make a lot of money don't want to, they don't typically mess with girls that are bigger. Okay, so if you don't like that and that bothers you, then do what you need to do so that guys of that caliber want to talk to you. So anyways, listen guys, that's my take on it. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson with another episode of Celebrity Junk. Go ahead and hit the bell, subscribe. Um, guys, you see here on the, you'll probably see two videos coming up on the end card and you can check that out. Um, any of those videos, you can subscribe and hit the bell, notify. Okay, whenever I come on, if you're new, welcome to the channel, right? And um, get all of my information to the first comment pinned to the top. I'm definitely, definitely, definitely thankful for all the people that have been supporting me. As you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. Don't forget, if you are a black male and you're watching this and you're looking for a channel that focuses on the black male point of view, look no further. Subscribe at the bell here, right? Because we're telling it from a black man's perspective and that's always necessary. Peace!